Hello everyone and welcome back again for another video. What we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to boot a NVMe M.2 drive onto a legacy motherboard. Uh, the board I'm using today is this Asus uh, P6T Deluxe version 2. I don't know if we can see if that's what that is. Maybe it's, if I hold my flashlight in here, you can see this. Um, no, I don't see it written on there anywhere. I my finger's in the damn way. But anyways, uh, so what I have in here is this little thing right here and what this does is it holds an nvme drive and a sata drive and it plugs into one of the uh pci express uh 8x slots uh normally it'll actually go into a 4x slot but i have it plugged into the 8x slot now the sata on it <coughs> uses a cable like this regular sata cable that plugs into the uh sata port right here uh and what it does is it goes into here, which it's got a little adapter on it, and that will read the SATA drive. And then, of course, the NVMe is going to transfer in through the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, USB port, or excuse me, PCI Express port in the back. Now, let's do a quick boot here uh, on the screen. Uh, but before I do that, I want to show you something. In the back, I have no USBs plugged in there. You don't see nothing. Uh, I have no USB plugged in on the front there either, so I'm not booting with a USB stick like some people will do. I'm actually booting with a SATA. Uh, let's take a look at this here on the screen. Now, this will take a bit because it's an X58, so of course, you know, those take a little bit longer to boot up and get going. But uh, here, let me turn off my light here so it's not glaring. And let's have a look here. And there you have it. So uh, let's go to the screen here and let me uh, show you how that works. So before I go to the screen, um, I want to show you this little gadget real quick. What this is, is a uh, M.2 SATA to uh, USB 3 converter. Um, it normally had a casing, but I took the casing off because I don't use it. I just use this for general purpose stuff. Um, the SATA that we're going to be using here in this example is one of those 2242, uh, you know, those little half size ones that'll fit like right in there. And uh, that's what we're going to use to boot. Um, do I have an extra one up here in my pile of shit? Mm, I'm not seeing one, but uh, yeah, that's what we're going to use is a 2242 uh, SATA M.2. Uh, you can get those real cheap. I, the, the one I got, I actually t took from uh, a uh, Chromebook that I converted a while back. And uh, <clears throat> it was a 16 gig uh, SATA thing inside the Chromebook. And I pulled that out and put 128 gig in there. And I didn't really have any use for it. But then uh, for this project, I actually uh, found a use for it. I was like, oh, shit, yeah, I could use this. 16 gigs, that's all I need. But uh, all right, let's, let's go ahead and go to the screen then and talk about this. Okay, to start out with, the software I'm using is called Duet, and I also have another app in there. It's called Refined. Um, you can get that at the winraid.com website here. I will leave a link in the description of this video. But uh, there's, there's all kinds of uh, instructions down here on how to make this. Now, what this does is it makes a little USB drive. And uh, on the USB drive... Uh, that's actually where your bootloader is going to be. Now, what I did is I took that a step further. Um, I took the USB drive and I cloned it onto that uh, little 16 gig uh, SATA drive. Uh, let's go over here to uh, 
Amazon here so you can have a look at the drive that I'm using inside the computer that I showed you earlier. Um, on the inside here, this one right here, this green one, this would be the, where the SATA would go. And so, of course, I've got that half size card right in here. That's actually our boot drive. And then right here is the NVMe drive itself. So you just basically hook these two drives in. But before you hook this one in, you put it into that little uh, SATA to M dot or uh, SATA M dot two to uh, USB converter that I showed you. And so what you do is you run a program. Uh, there's probably other programs that'll work for this too. I like to use Mini Tool Partition Wizard. Um, you're gonna run it as administrator. And what you're going to do, let's let this boot up here. You're going to find two different drives down there. One, th These are actually my main drives here. I don't have them plugged in, but I'm going to kind of explain it to you. Hopefully, you'll get the gist of this. Um, you're going to have two drives there. One's going to be the drive that you formatted with the, uh, with the uh, Duet software. And the other one is going to be a uh, the blank uh, SATA M.2. And basically, all you're going to do is you're going to highlight the drive in uh, Mini Tool Partition Wizard, and then click the Copy Disk Wizard. That's it. And then it's going to ask you. We're going to click Next here. It's going to ask you to which disk you want to copy. We're going to go disk one. And then click next and then it's going to ask you where you want to copy it to you're going to go to disk 2 uh, you're just basically going to look for the SATA M.2 drive I'm not going to click here because that'll screw up my computer so I can't show you this live but uh, that's what you're going to do is you're going to clone that USB boot drive onto the SATA uh, 16 gig SATA drive just that simple and then you go ahead and uh, place that SATA drive back into here into the uh, this slot and uh, have your NVMe here and then uh, go ahead and boot the computer and it should boot if you have the BIOS set to uh, boot from the SATA drive it should boot uh, on the legacy BIOS and show you a Clover screen that will let you install Windows now once you get to that boot screen it's just a matter of uh, popping your Windows 10 uh, USB stick in and then just doing your install and uh, there you have it so uh, l l let me go to the other screen here and show you what kind of speeds we're getting now right here if you look on Amazon uh, this is showing like a read uh, you know 3566 2377 you know typical m.2 uh, the m.2 I'm using is actually kind of a cheapy um, I picked it up, uh, I think, off the Walmart website or something. It was like the cheapest M.2 I could find. And the only reason I spent the money on something so cheap is because I was experimenting and I wanted to see if it worked, actually, <laughs> on this X58, and it did. So, uh, yeah, so I'm ex sharing that experience with you. But uh, l let me uh, stop here, and uh, we'll go to the other screen here and, and take a look and see what Crystal Mark showed. <laughs> All right, back to this screen. Um, looking at the crystal uh, crystal disk mark uh, image here that uh, I took a shot of, you can see it's transferring at 1600 uh, on the read max. Um, that's about half of what that uh, it was showing on the advertisement there on Amazon, and um, I, th I think a lot of it might have to do with this being an older BIOS and the transfer speed. Uh, I might not have this in the correct 4X slot. I'm not sure. There's, this is, board has got like four different 4X slots. Um, I was thinking of moving it around, see if that makes a difference in the uh, transfer rate. But uh, still, all in all, 1600 on the uh, transfer uh, is a hell of a lot better than what a... Uh, SSD would do, you know, so there's obviously some improvement there. And like I said, I got some tweaking to do here. Um, just, just to show you this, we'll go to Task Manager so you can see this uh, under Performance so that uh, the CPU is in fact an X5675. 
Uh, we're running eight gigs of memory in here. Let's uh, let's see if we do something here. We can show you, give you a little bit more information. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll go to uh, system information here. Uh, see what this tells us. Xeon X5675. Uh, now the BIOS mode, you'll notice that it says that it's UEFI. Now, uh, normally that would say legacy on an X58. <laughs> but since we're using that uh, little boot trick there, it, uh, it actually shows up as a UEFI BIOS. So that, that's pretty neat. Um, other things that I've done... Uh, let's see if we can see it down in the corner here. Um, you see a USB, or not USB, but a Bluetooth icon there. So yeah, I got Bluetooth on this X58. And of course, I got Wi-Fi going on there. So uh, yeah, I've kind of modernized this board quite a bit. And you can, of course, see like the uh, RGB is synchronized in there with the... Uh, with the uh, the uh, CPU cooler and the memory and the uh, RGB on the uh, SATA controller down there. So, uh, yeah, that's actually pretty cool that I could do this with an X58. Um, this this uh, case here is actually for another uh, video that I'm doing here. It's actually part of the previous video I did there where I was talking about that DIY PC uh, $35 case. Well, this was the build. And I figure since I, I kind of did something kind of obscure with this, uh, that I'd make a separate video on this uh, in itself, doing the X58 and Legacy BIOS. Um, I was originally going to put uh, Mac OS on here and uh, Linux too, and maybe do a triple boot, but... Uh, that's actually kind of a pain in the ass on an X58. You can do it. I know people have ran it on this board, according to the message boards. But, uh, nah, I thought, nah, since this is just an experiment and uh, I kind of want to get this one done and moving on to a something else, uh, I figured, you know, just a simple basic Windows install here on the NVMe would be sufficient enough and uh i think uh, a lot of people would get a kick out of this but uh, all right that's gonna be it for this video guys um hopefully later in the week here i'll finish up the video on this case so i can talk about this uh case build a little bit more uh this one turned out actually better than i expected but uh i'll talk to you guys later uh i'll see you in the next video and bye